Can we give the kids all a big round of applause? Today, I'll be presenting a story. The title is The Wise King. Once, there lived a very wise king. His name was King Solomon. He was famous throughout the land. His people lived happily because he was a kind ruler. Rulers from afar envy him. Not only was he wise, but his subjects loved him very much too. One day, a queen from a nearby country came to visit him. She wanted to test King Solomon's power of solving puzzles. She said, Your Majesty, I have two flowers in my hand. One is real and the other is artificial. I want you to guess which one is real and which is artificial without touching them or smelling them. King Solomon kept quiet. He closed his eyes and started thinking. He opened his eyes and he looked around. He closed his eyes and went into deep thought. It, there was complete silence. The queen was happy because she thought that King Solomon did not know the answer. Guards, shouted the king, open all the windows so that fresh air can come in. The guards opened all the windows of, in the palace. At that time, a few butterflies flew into the room and settled on the flower on the queen's right hand. They then flew to the flower on the queen's left hand and settled on it. They spent a longer time on that flower. They tried to suck nectar from it. The wise king said, The flower in your right hand is artificial, whereas the one in your left hand is the real flower. How did you know? asked the queen. The king said, The, the butterflies were trying to suck nectar from it. Only real flowers have nectar. The queen praised King Solomon and said, You are truly a wise king. Moral? Think creative ways of solving problems. That's the end of my story. Thank you. Thank you so much. Think creative ways to solve problems. Give a round of applause to Hannah.